Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to the last tutorial in the month of June. So far we've done 29 of these every single day in the month of June and today we're going to be doing number 30. So I hope that you've enjoyed these and uh, I hope that you're able to take these uh, these new skills and go out and create something amazing. And uh, we'll jump into this one in just a second. But before I do that, I want to let you know about a contest we got going on. This is our July Photoshop contest, and uh, I am sponsoring this. And uh, I'm opening this up to everyone who enjoys doing Photoshop or does enjoys doing some type of digital art. And uh, I'm looking forward to what you guys uh, can make here. Uh, so I've got some rules on here. I'm going to include the link below. This is on my website uh, where you can read the rules. But essentially uh, what we have in this one is three different themes. And uh, so you can, you can enter in each one of these themes or you can enter in just one of them. It's up to you which what do you want to do? But the first theme is walking on water. So create an image that's uh, about walking on water. The second one is facing your fears. And then the third one is strength and unity. And I've included a little description on those. Uh, but go out and create something that uh, fits these themes. Use your own photography, use stock websites, you know, use free stock images. Uh, go out and, and and do some really cool photo manipulation, bring them together and uh, post them on Instagram. Uh, that's how I'm going to be able to see them and just use the hashtag July Photoshop contest on your images. And when the deadline is over, I will go and look at all the images and pick some winners. And so I'll include more information in the link below so you can uh, enter in this contest. Uh, but I really want to just see what you guys can create. I know that you enjoy making digital art. And uh, so I wanted to include this little contest. Got lots of uh, cool little prizes and uh, you can find more information on the link below. But what we're going to do today is our uh, number 30 of our Photoshop tutorials. And it's going to be how to use um, a custom brush, a how to use a foliage brush or a grass brush in this case. So this is a picture I created not too long ago. This is a picture of my son. He is on his bed and uh, it's like the Where the Wild Things Are, if you've ever read that book. A uh, very interesting book where this this boy's uh, bedroom turns into like a forest or like a like a, a really uh, cool adventure that he goes on uh, where the, the forest grows up and then he finds these monsters. And it's just a really cool little book that our, our kids enjoy reading. So I wanted to create a picture uh, that showed that. And so what I did, uh, let me just kind of show you the uh, the setup here. I've got uh, my son here. He's on his bed and I've got some lights going on here and uh, different colors and, and stuff like that. Um, but what I did to get this shot is I got it on a tripod. I got my camera on a tripod and I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm about three feet off the ground, I would say, kind of uh, just uh, pretty low to the ground, not, not as tall as like if I was to handhold the camera. So it's a little bit lower to the ground. And uh, I also had pictures of uh, the forest here. And so this is another picture of the forest kind of near where we live at. And uh, again, I put it on a tripod and took the picture about three feet off the ground or so, maybe two feet off the ground, I'm not sure. Uh, but I took both of these pictures with the 35 millimeter lens and uh, they're essentially taken uh, at about the same angle and everything in the same height and everything. And so since I have both of these images taken at about the same angle and the same height and everything, then I can combine them together in Photoshop uh, pretty easily. So what I wanted to show you is, uh, let me go ahead and start turning some of these layers off. So here's all my color grade that I've got going on here. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. And uh, here's that big tree that's right in the, uh, the front of the picture. Um, and then here's all the grass that I have um, that went in front of the bed. And so what I want to show you how to do is to create that grass. So here's our original picture of grass. And what I want you to show you how to do is to take this grass and make it look uh, more realistic. How do we cut that grass out and make it look like it's actually in the scene? Now, the good thing is I took both the, the picture of the bedroom and the picture of the grass at about the same height, and that's very important. Um, and so by doing that, that's going to make blending a lot easier. Now, what I'm going to need to do is um, I'm going to need to uh, fill uh, this grass layer in with some type of brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get this this image of grass, make a layer mask on it, and then invert it. And so now it's completely invisible. And so when I get a, uh, a brush here and I paint white on it, then I can start painting this uh, 
these leaves back. So I could start painting these leaves where I want them to go. Now, this is just a basic random brush in Photoshop. It doesn't look very realistic. I don't like it like that. So what I'm gonna need to do is get a brush that's a little bit more, um, a little bit more natural, a little bit more organic here. So I've got uh, some brushes. You can download free brushes all over the internet. Uh, I'm not gonna include links on all the free websites because there's thousands of them. Uh, but you can also purchase brushes too, and uh, I encourage you doing that. Uh, so I, I went to a website called, um, it's called Creature Art Teacher, but it's by the, uh, the art of Aaron Blaze. He's a really good wildlife um, uh, artist, and he does digital paintings, but he also includes uh, some of his brush and texture sets. And so if you go to his website, and I'll include a link below, um, he's not paying me anything for this. I just enjoy using his products. Um, but I downloaded his uh, Photoshop foliage brush set. He's, a, he's got it sell, on sale for very cheap right now, but I'll include a link below. And uh, it's really cool. The brushes that come with it are, are very, very interesting. Let me just go ahead and show you a few of those. So just if you're curious, so here are some of the brushes um, that he's got included. I'm just gonna paint them in black, but like here's some twigs and brushes and stuff like that. Here's some leaves. Um, Here's some more different types of leaves. And uh, it, he's got them already programmed out so where they're, uh, they're different shapes and they're different uh, rotations and all stuff like that. And sometimes they're different opacities and uh, just, just amazing little uh, brushes that he's made. And so I like the one, I really like the one that looks like this. So this one right here is really cool. It looks like kind of like a bush or, you know, it's got all these little leaves and twigs and everything popping out of it. And so I like this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my brush to white and I'm going to go to this uh, grass layer. Remember, we have this grass layer and uh, I'm going to uh, start painting white down here. And so just like that, I can start painting this grass that's going all around this bed and the dresser and all the way to the foot of the bed and all the way back here on the left as well. And so you can see on the edges of this, it's it's starting to make these little cutouts of these these brush, these uh, uh, leaves and twigs and everything. It looks so much more organic like this. Now, is it gonna cut out everything perfectly? No, it's not gonna do that, but it's gonna look so much more realistic trying this method than using just like a regular circle brush. And so that's this is how I did this image right here. I just painted out little, um, uh, little brush strokes here with this foliage brush, just like that. And then you can also kind of erase part of it and then paint it back. You can keep playing with it till you get it to look exactly like you want it to. Um, and then after I did, uh, did that, I had uh, some, some color grading I applied to it. So let me go ahead and put that color grading on it. So I've already got these saved. So there's the color grading I applied to it. And then we can start bringing our other elements back in, like our big tree right here, and then our color effects at the end. And so that's what I did. And so if we were to uh, start that over, do it like this. This is what I started off with, and then I just started painting white all around here, all around the bed, and you get that really organic, natural looking grass just by using that foliage brush. Very cool technique, I really uh, recommend doing that. The last thing I would do is go below that grass uh, brush and then we want to zoom in and we want to make it a little bit smaller and change your color to black. And then we're gonna start painting a little bit of shadows here on the, the bed, just like that. And then I'm just going to blur them, maybe like, I don't know, like five pixels or so, and then just change your opacity down like that. Now you've got all these nice little shadows on the bed where the grass was at. So guys, that's, that's pretty much how I did this image. I just used some foliage brushes to get this grass in here. It only really works though when you are taking both images at the same height. Otherwise your perspective's gonna be off and it's not gonna look very realistic. But guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope that you uh, are enjoying these tutorials. Go back and look through the 30 uh, tutorials we've done for the month of June. 
use those skills, and then go out and create something for our Photoshop contest. Uh, I'm going to extend uh, the deadline. I did have the deadline at July 15th, but I'm going to extend that to July 31st, uh, just to give you a little bit more time. Since there are three themes in this contest, I want to give you enough time to create the best art that you can create. So July 31st, uh, post these images onto Instagram, put the, the uh, July Photoshop contest hashtag on your images. I'm going to go through them um, on July 31st and pick out some winners. And I'm really excited what you guys can create. But that is a wrap for our July Photoshop tutorial series. Again, thank you so much for visiting this YouTube channel, for subscribing. Uh, I really appreciated all the, uh, the comments and messages uh, that I've gotten the last 30 days have been amazing. And so I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope to see you at the next tutorial series. Guys, until then, happy creating, and I'll see you at the next video.